As you wish. Something? Go away.
Sack worth and rock! Of course. As you wish. I shall be quiet as a calm sea, which is not very quiet. from your bones. Careful. I killed the last wanderer I found in these parts. Was that the rodent's name? I only know that he tasted mealy and lean. Centuries I've lived. I won't share my soul with some mewling youth. Didn't I? While he lived, his suffering became mine. And as he drew closer, his weakness infected my essence. I can never be strong while a soul twin of mine lives. Since I was a worm, sudden fits of agony and terror would paralyze me. I was a prisoner to experiences that weren't mine. Eventually, I noticed something similar in my fellow hatchlings. I felt their cries and shrieks become mine as they nipped and flew at one another. I don't waste my time with the mysteries of souls. What sunders them and how the turning of the wheel apportions them. What matters is power. Survival. I killed as many of the other hatchlings as I could. I felt their pain, but I also felt parts of their souls become mine. I slaughtered and devoured, and the scent of blood drove my siblings into a frenzy. Our nest became a maelstrom of chaos as we fought, dying and feeding together. 
At last, only a handful of us were left. We were sickened by all we'd consumed and suffered. I eventually hunted down some of my missing siblings. Others returned to me in other skins and other lives, as that boy did. As interesting as this conversation has been, I've had enough of it. Perhaps you're right. Yet what will you offer me if I let you go? Lies! You would make me vulnerable. How foolish I was to nearly fall for your tricks! Very well. But I warn you. feel it. Some part of me aches, yet another part is healed. I no longer feel the tug of so many others. You have done as you said. Now, take this and consider the debt paid. I won't harm you or those who travel with you, but I make no promises for any others who wander into my cave. <sighs> Now, please, leave me to rest. <sighs> 